what's up you guys I hope you're doing really good today in this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about Chainlink first we will go over what is Chainlink understanding Chainlink type of Chainlink smart contracts how Chainlink nodes reliable validate data where do link tokens fit in how to buy it and is link a good investment but before we begin with the video, let's check Chainlink at CoinMarketCap and this one is on the 21st spot with a price of 26.04, meaning that there is a 0.36% increase from yesterday's price and a market cap of 12.15 billion. So first of all, what is Chainlink? Chainlink is a cryptocurrency aiming to incentivize a global network of computers to provide reliable real-world data to smart contracts running on top of blockchains. If you're unfamiliar, smart contracts are agreements programmed to execute if and when certain conditions are met. To date, smart contracts have been used for everything from creating novel crypto financial products to developing new crypto assets. However, an issue that has persisted is that most smart contracts need to rely on some kind of external data source to properly execute their terms. For example, smart contracts seeking to replicate bonds or insurance agreements may need access to APIs reporting on the market prices or Internet of Things data. Chainlink was created to address this issue by incentivizing data providers called oracles to act as a bridge between blockchain smart contracts and external data sources. Every oracle within the Chainlink network is incentivized to provide accurate data since a reputation score is assigned to each. Further, when nodes follow the software rules and provide useful data, they are rewarded in Chainlink's cryptocurrency link. Now understanding Chainlink smart contracts. To understand the benefits of Chainlink and how it functions, you need to understand some fundamental interconnected concepts, so let's start with smart contracts. So smart contracts are pre-specified agreements on the blockchain that evaluate information and automatically execute when certain conditions are met. Crowdfunding is a good example. If a certain amount of Ether is deposited into a smart contract by a certain date, then payment will be released to the fundraiser. If it is not, the payment will be returned to donors. Because smart contracts exist on a blockchain, they are immutable and verifiable, guaranteeing a high level of trust among parties that they accurately reflect the stated parameters of the agreement and will execute if and only if those parameters are met. For smart contracts to craft agreements beyond those that pertain to data found on the blockchain, they require off-chain data in an on-chain format. The difficulty in connecting outside information sources to blockchain smart contracts in a language that they both understand is one of the main limitations in how widely smart contracts can be used. Now we go over the type of Chainlink smart contracts. The process starts on a smart contract enabled blockchain when a smart contract requires data. That smart contract puts out a request for information. The Chainlink protocol registers this request as an event and in turn creates a corresponding smart contract also on the blockchain to get this off-chain data. The Chainlink SLA contract generates three subcontracts, a Chainlink reputation contract, a Chainlink order matching contract, and a Chainlink aggregating contract. The Chainlink reputation contract checks an Oracle provider's track record to verify its authenticity and performance history, then evaluates and discards disreputable and reliable knots. The Chainlink order matching contract delivers the requesting contract's request to Chainlink knots and takes their bids on the request and then selects the right number and type of nodes to fulfill the request. The Chainlink aggregating contract takes all the data from the chosen oracles and validates and or reconciles it for an accurate result. Now let's go over how Chainlink nodes reliably validate data. Chainlink nodes then take the requesting contract's request for data and use Chainlink Core software to translate that request from on-blockchain programming language to an off-blockchain programming language a real-world data source can understand. 
This newly translated version of the request is then routed to an external application programming interface that collects data from that source. And once that data has been collected, it's been translated back into the on blockchain language to the Chainlink core and sent back to the Chainlink aggregating contract. Now you may ask, where do link tokens fit in? So requesting contract holders use link to pay Chainlink node operators for their work. Prices are set by the Chainlink node operator based on demand for the data they can provide and the current market for that data. Chainlink node operators also use link to stake in the network. Node operators must deposit link with Chainlink to demonstrate their commitment to the network and incentivize good service. The Chainlink reputation contract considers the size of a node's stake when matching nodes with the request for data. And nodes with a greater stake are therefore more likely to be chosen to fulfill requests. Moreover, the Chainlink network punishes faulty or dishonest nodes by taxing their stake of Link for poor service. Link is built on Ethereum in accordance with the ERC20 standard for tokens. It can be bought and sold for fiat currency and other digital currencies. Which leads us to the question, how to buy Chainlink? So Chainlink's token Link get supported by the vast majority of exchanges including but not limited to Coinbase and Gemini. Setting up an account on one of these centralized exchanges takes about 5 minutes and will require your social security number, driver's license, and photo verification. Then after you do that, you can easily purchase Chainlink on one of these sites. And now the very last question, is Chainlink a good investment? So Chainlink, like all the other altcoins, can be profitable depending on the number of tokens you're holding on to at a price milestone which meets your investment goals. Link could be profitable investment and it is an asset any trader can consider having on their portfolio as it promises unique features which will lead to several adoptions and integrations in the future. Put simply, Chainlink is low risk investment with lots of potential rewards. It's something you should definitely do some research before you consider adding it to your portfolio and now you know if Chainlink is a good investment. If you're feeling inspired enough to start investing in Link, you can go ahead and start your own research and then purchase a Chainlink and wait to see the potential rewards. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.